Hello, it's Rhea. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, I hope you are enjoying yourself. So, uh, this week it's kind of like a fallback video. I uh, hope you guys don't mind. This weekend, unfortunately, whenever I was so excited to film digital art for once, I got incredibly sick on Saturday, and then on Sunday I pretty much was just recovering from that entire experience. So now we have this old backup video. This was initially filmed back in, I think, 2022 in November. You've probably seen on the cover uh, when I opened my iPad, it said November. It's not last November, it's like another year before that. So yeah, uh, there's some things that might not be as up to date. So don't worry about what I say too much. Also, I'm kind of doing like a fun little style exercise in this video. So while they're drawn and colored, some of these are unrendered yet. So I'm going to be focusing on ways that I can render in a chibi style. So yeah, it's kind of like a fun exercise. And this is my OC Lilith that I am coloring. But yeah, I'll leave you guys with the original voiceover now. Bye! And so I have the base layers for all of them done, but in this video I'm pretty much just um, doing like, I'm just rendering it different ways. And when I say render, I mean very like light, because um, I mean they're chibis, so, or like they're like supposed to be in a more chibi style, so um, if you don't know, chibis are usually like a more cuter, simplified version of a character. So it's not like there's meant to be a lot of effort put into it compared to like a full body. And don't get me wrong, I know chibis can come in a full body size too, but I mean like, you know what I mean, like the typical size of a character. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this because um, in general I think it's really fun, but I also think that um, like style studies and just sort of experimenting with different ways to draw something is something that I've been fairly interested in for a long time. I just hardly ever get around to it because it's kind of one of those things where it's like you know it can benefit you and you know you should probably get around to doing it at some point, but you just don't. <laughs> There's so many other things. I get so easily distracted by like all the stuff that I have to draw and all the stuff that I want to draw, so it just wasn't really something that crossed my mind as often. But um, recently I've been trying to, or I've had a lot of opportunities to sort of um, play with a more simplified style or more like, I call it mini style or like to draw something in tiny. <laughs> I think it's just like the internet's influence on my vocabulary and like like what I mean for it to mean <laughs> but uh, yeah drawing something in tiny aka drawing like something more simplified or chibi um, that's kind of what I've been up to lately because um, on Twitch I recently got um, affiliate status which is pretty awesome and cool um, if you don't know what that is and you're like a little bit like you don't know really much about Twitch Twitch is a live stream type platform and um basically whenever you reach affiliate on there it's kind of like um whenever you can monetize your content and stuff which i don't really care so much about but i do care about the other perks that it comes with which is um creating emotes and like all these little like fun things to help your viewer experience and uh yeah it's just like really cool and fun because it's like i've always watched other people um on Twitch for a long time now and I've seen so many different like emotes and cute interactive things and to make my own and stuff it just felt really cool and um, I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing like on terms of process but um, I'm probably gonna be making more emotes just to like test it out a little bit because I don't know it's kind of fun it's like there's a certain art to it like there's a certain way to go about it and um, I'm really interested to see like more of how I can capture that. Um, sorry if this video like seems like it's a little bit everywhere because like my brain is a little bit everywhere right now. Um, and also, fun fact, whenever I filmed this, it was like 3 a.m. I don't know if you saw the time at the beginning, but <laughs> yeah. And I think I filmed this right after I filmed the other video where I was like doing the line art and coloring of like four different little sketches. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oop, it's a filming session, let's go. 
This is also another video that I filmed without there being like an actual premise to it. I mean like, yeah, I'm drawing like a themed thing. I'm drawing like these little chibi drawings or like coloring them in kind of, but it's like just random, you know? It's like just straight up in the middle of the process I started filming it. So I don't really know how appealing that is. If I can get away with it and y'all don't mind, then I'd be more than happy to just like randomly start filming something. But uh, like I said, not all my content is so like supposed to be like that. Um, I will definitely have a lot more cohesive content, but I mean, I don't know. If these aren't horrible to you guys, then I might just have them as an option for every now and then whenever I get fatigued because um, it is a lot to try and um, maintain different kinds of content creation on multiple different platforms. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, where do I go from here? Um, I'm trying to like figure out how I want to like talk about each and everything. I will say um, for filming um, on my iPad because I don't know, um, I would definitely like to film more on my iPad because uh, whenever I draw digitally there's a lot less setup that I have to do. It's literally just me pulling up my iPad and that's it. The only thing I'm concerned about is trying to figure out the color correction on the screen. If you guys have any tips about how to go about that, please let me know. Um, I tried to color correct it, um, you know, in the editing program that I use, but it's like, I don't know, <laughs> like looking at it, I'm like, I hope this is accurate, but even then it might look a little weird and it was kind of hard to get right because like I had to really saturate the tones of uh, this footage and everything. By the way, if you keep seeing that like random blue light that comes up every now and then, it's because the monitor that I have for my PC, it'll like turn off if it's left inactive every now and then. And whenever it turns off, it'll like first flash this blue screen first for some reason, and then it'll just go black. So that's what that is. Sorry that you have to keep randomly seeing it, but. <laughs> Yeah, filming on my iPad is not something that I've done often, so I'm a little bit awkward doing it, but I would like to do it more. And um, my issues, like another issue aside from like color correcting that I have to figure out is like, um, one, okay, so this angle, that's like, that was like a compromise because I have a little, it's currently resting on this little like iPad stand and um, it's like, I like whenever it's leaning leaning against that. Usually I like my iPad tilted whenever I draw on it. So just having it lay down straight up flat feels so unnerving to me. <laughs> but um, for the camera's perspective, like that feels a little weird because now the drawing view is like skewed a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out like what I can do about that in the future or if like, is this something I can once again get away with? Because if it's annoying, then I can definitely try to see if I can just like tough it up and get used to um, drawing on a, like just the screen laying flat. But nine times out of 10, I like to have it tilted slightly towards me. So um, yeah, I'll have to see about that. And um, once again, this is sped up footage because uh, <laughs> I think the process itself, like is, let's see, I filmed two, it was like almost 40 minutes, I guess. And like, I would love to have videos that are like longer every now and then, but this is not one of those times. <laughs> so um, yeah, and another thing is whenever I am, I'm sorry that I'm not a person that like zooms in super close. It's like, it feels so awkward to me. So like once again, I was definitely compromising with the zoom in too, because normally I do not do that. Like I'm pretty zoomed out whenever I draw on my iPad. I don't know if that's like how I am with like digital art in general or what, but whenever I'm drawing on my iPad at least, I don't zoom in that close. Um, like I know a lot of people like to really get in there and um, I think that definitely helps with like making sure there's no mistakes, but I just don't really do that that often for some reason. And it feels so weird whenever I do, like I feel like I'm up way too close. So throughout the video, I, I feel like I keep um, 
I like zoom in to make sure that you guys can see how it looks, but then I get kind of like awkward and like unnerved by it, so then I zoom back out. And it's just like this random fight, but hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully you guys can still see some of the process and like see what's going on. I mean, I once again, I know it's sped up, but I don't know. You guys can let me know. Maybe this is going to be a complete flop, but it's okay. <laughs> if it is, we can just pretend it didn't happen, but nevertheless, that's all that I have to say for the filming process of this. Oh, lastly, I will say, like, um, whenever it comes to- okay, well, once again, um, I'm in, <laughs> like, autofocus instead of manual focus, so it's apparently doing that really annoying hand thing, or, like, hand focusing thing every now and then. So, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry for this video in general. No, um, but like, I feel like uh, whenever I'm rendering certain parts and adding the shadows, the shades of this character's hair look so light that it might be hard to tell. And like, so same thing with their skin. And the thing is, is like, her skin is pretty like, uh, her skin is supposed to be like tan noticeably tan but like on here it looks very pale <laughs> so it just be like that sometimes i guess um and for reference i am drawing my oc she doesn't have a name but i've drawn her multiple times by now i've had her as an oc for a while now too and um she's like very bat themed and she has a friend who is very cat themed and I usually like to draw them together, but for some reason I just decided to use her as this little cheapy practice, and uh, yeah, so here's how I did this. Um, I sketched a row of three different heads, and then I did line art for them. Then I duplicated them and created columns, essentially. Each column has the same face, but each column contains a different color style, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically at the end they're all supposed to look different in some kind of way, but um, each column is gonna have the same face, but each row will have a similar color style, but a different face. <laughs> Am I making any sense just now? I don't know, but the color styles that I chose was kind of like, um, the first one was kind of like a soft render but still kind of like basic and then the second row is supposed to be like a a sharper render like it's like the bubbly kind of rendering where it's like very cutesy but very like based off of like shapes and very solid flat colors and then um, the final one is a little bit more like realistic, I guess. It's a little bit more realistic shading. And um, yeah, I was just kind of trying out different things. And because like for chibi styles, there's so many different kinds you can do. And um, that's what I was trying to like get the hang of. So I was trying to figure out drawing the same character over and over. How can I draw them in a different chibi way? And then how can I color them in a different chibi way? And um, I will say, towards the end, I really liked the face on the left. And um, coloring style, I think I do kind of really like the, um, the coloring style that I did towards the bottom. Now, getting towards the end of this video, I start to like lose my mind a little bit. <laughs> Definitely like on this last row, I think I just kind of like I don't know, my brain just kind of gave up a little bit, so whenever I get to the last one, I render it kind of odd compared to like the other two in that row, but it's fine. I also have some chibi sketches in my sketchbook where I pretty much like went over the introduction to like drawing in chibi or whatever, so um, I would like to do an actual video on that at some point, hopefully soon, because um, I mean, I definitely need to draw chibis, and the whole reason why is because um, I am planning on creating a chibi avatar for whenever I stream, so it's kind of like a VTuber thing, except <laughs> I feel like I'm walking the like this odd line between like VTuber and just like a regular 
streamer who still uh, would assume to be identified just like as I am. It's it's this weird whole thing. But anyways, the point is I just want like a really cute model. <laughs> and um, it kind of ties into my branding. So, but before creating the entire like live 2D model that I have to rig, I feel like that's a little bit much because I don't know anything about rigging and setting up um, a character like that so what i'm planning to do is just create a chibi version first and then i can go from there and uh yeah i think that'll be a lot nicer on terms of transitioning over and just like getting used to it so um yeah i pretty much have everything set up because for the longest time i was putting it off because i still had to figure out what i wanted my little vtuber model to look like and now i'm like oh Okay, I've created my little Persona character, and here's even some random background lore and stuff. I've been getting kind of into it, like, overly enthusiastic about it, so... I'm concerned as to how this is going to end. <laughs> but for the most part, I think it's just like... I don't know, I really love the idea of coming up with, like... Characters and stories in general, like, that's just always been something that I like, so... I guess it makes sense that, um, I'm kind of also getting into that, too for this little project. Um, we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I'll probably update y'all on that later, but it's not like a huge deal. <laughs> um, the whole point though is that once whenever I learn that, I think it'll be pretty cool because then I can try to um, try it again with uh, maybe my OCs. And then if I get really good at it, then it might be something that I can have people commission me for because yeah, VTubers are a thing. It is jumping in this era, <laughs> but once again, I feel like my fun in it just comes from the idea of like creating a character and being able to like control their emotions and stuff like that. It's like bringing them to life essentially. I think that's really fun. So yeah, but anyways, um, so that's why I've started to really try to focus on how I want my chibi style to look like. Um, it's really something that I've always wanted to work on, but I just once again kept pushing it off, so um, since I'm finally getting around to it, that's good, because I would love to like put chibis up as a commission thing. Um, my commissions aren't really open right now, since I'm still trying to figure out my job situation, um, but whenever I do open them again, I would love to be able to add chibis as an option, because who doesn't love chibis? I mean, some people, but like... I think it's a really nice alternative for people who can't afford like a full-on real live- <laughs> not real live, but like a full-on like full body character and like all kinds of detail and stuff. It's a lot easier to just get a little chibi and uh, yeah, but <sighs> I do really like the one on the left. I like the way that I drew the eyes on that one. And, um, but I think when it comes to, like, the little blushies, I like the, like, three line blushies. <laughs> so, the closest one to that is the one on the right, where it has those little, like, it's like a squiggly line instead of, like, actual lines, but I don't know, I like that kind of blush. I also just like the very simple blush, where it's just, like, a gentle, soft gradient. But yeah, now I'm going over the line art um, in each row with like different kinds of options just to see how it looks. I think I like the blue the best just because of the contrast um, compared to like my character's like hair and appearance and everything. I feel like it really pops and is kind of like fun spooky vibes. I don't know. I mean, in general, she kind of reminds me of Halloween because she kind of has like bat vampire aesthetic. But yeah. Um, I think this was a really fun exercise and that's a good way to put it yeah it's just like an exercise it's not like anything super deep it's just like a fun thing to do and i definitely recommend it it's not gonna be the last time you see me draw the same thing over and over again but just in different styles um but this is a nice like mini version of doing that and so it's good and saves time um as opposed to drawing the same chibi full body but like just different everything. <laughs> That's a little bit overwhelming, but just taking the face and doing different characteristics on it and like the eyes, the blush, the head shape, and things like that, um, I feel like that really helped. And yeah, like I said, I recommend it. Um, it can really help enhance your style because you can figure out the things that you like um, versus the things that you want to change and why. 
and I just think that's always important. Um, in general, I always really like having options on stuff, so uh, yeah, I feel like this was pretty insightful, and I hope you guys don't mind if I ever do something like this again. If I redo this, I'll definitely like try to film the very beginning <laughs> though, so that way you're not just like thrown in the loop and you're like, what the heck's going on? But yeah, um, I know it's a little bit different, but hopefully you didn't mind it. I'm just scrolling through like each individual one, and I'll also show you how it looks at the end on the actual photo itself. But uh, yeah, I think this was a really fun warm up, and um, I am excited to see um, what chibi style I come up with, and hopefully I get to show you guys too some more of that process um, with videos in the future. But that is all for me for now. Um, I will see you in the next one. I know it was short, but that's all. So. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed your time here today, please feel free to leave a like. If you're interested to see more of my content, you can always check out my other videos and subscribe. For reference, if you're new, I am Rhea or Etheria, and I like making art and art-related content on my channel. I do try to post weekly videos, but if you'd like more timely updates, you can always check out my other social media linked in the description and also at the end of the video. Now, until next time, I have posted probably two videos in one week, which is crazy for me, so thank you once again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a nice rest of your day and week. Take care.